Hey everybody, I've just downloaded the Australian Computing Academy's DT at home activity, Crack the Code. Looks like this. It's a game for two players. Player one thinks up a code and player two tries to figure out how to crack it. So here's how it works. We're going to go through it. Player one thinks of a code, three numbers, each between one and six. Player two has to try to guess that code from the hints that player one gives as they go along. Player two has to guess the correct numbers in the correct order. So here's player one's code. I can't see what it is, but you can at home so that it's easier for you to follow along, right? I haven't got any idea what the code is yet, so I'm just gonna guess any three numbers. Let's say um, one, two, three. And now player two gives me some clues, three symbols, one for each place in the code. If my number is completely wrong, I get an X. If it's the right number, it's just in the wrong place, then I get a question mark. And if it's the right number and it's in the right place, then I get a tick. So here's what I get for my first guess. X, X, question mark. All right, that looks bad. I haven't got much right. But then again, it does actually tell us quite a lot. It means that the code does not have the numbers one or two in it, because I've got X's for those. And the number three gets a question mark which means that there's a three in there somewhere, just not in that place. Okay, here's my next guess, three, five, six. And here's what clues I get from player two. Question mark, X, tick. I'm getting closer. So I know it has a six in that last spot. And I know that the three is not in the first position. And I already know it's not in the last position, so it has to be in the middle. And I know that there isn't a five in there anywhere. Okay, here's my next guess. Four, three, six. And here are my clues. Cross, tick, tick. Hmm. So the three and the six are correct, but the four isn't right. So that first spot isn't a four or a five or a one or a two. So it's got to be another three or another six. My next guess. Three, three, six. My clues. Cross, tick, tick, again. Okay then, how about six, three, six? And tick, 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 yes. So that's how you play. Now the code doesn't have to be made of numbers. You can use a group of six of anything. You could use six foods. You could choose the code from six different colors. You could do six different superheroes. It really doesn't matter. So go and create your own version. Crack some codes, have some fun.